go down the stairs. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I got disoriented about like where I was up here at some point. One of the great metal ribs of the ship. Okay. We actually meant go down, but thank you for that information. <laughs> like... Are you the box? No. Shit. There's a pair of boxes here. The other side. Oh, I we haven't looked at here yet. Oh. <laughs> Control panel for something? Excuse me? Is that the official document name? <laughs> it just comes into my inter it's just in my in inventory. I just picked it up. <laughs> How big is it? What the fuck? I don't know. Probably decently sized. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm imagining it looked, it's, you know. In the environment, it looked pretty big. I wasn't expecting just to pick it up. <laughs> Some kind of machine. Maybe a control panel? For something. <laughs> Fucking game sometimes. This was not ready just to pick it up like that. It's a tunnel. It goes all the way across the ship. I want to click on the open door. There, there, there we go. Oh, that's where it goes. Maybe this hole is where the control panel from five feet away goes. That's the same little weird pyramid on the bottom corner. Well, there's only one way to find out. In you go. What a coincidence. Dude, you did it. Everything looks all right. Okay, but what do we do now? Why don't you press the button next to it? The orange one? Yes. Alright, I'll do that. Pushing. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to say I'm counting on you, Andrew. <laughs> was I? Yeah. It, was that an actual line I missed? No. Oh. It's just that he always says that I was like, I, I was watching. I just Every time it. I press buttons or anything, he's just like, I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'm like, why? why? Why are you putting that stress on me? I pressed like a button, man. <laughs> What's the problem? What's you going press on? it and it doesn't work and you're like, no, he was counting on uh, me. I've let Ace down. Ah. Ace actually is let down. He's like, I was counting on you. <laughs> I'm, disapp I'm disappointed in you, son. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All sorts of lights are all and are lighting up on this thing. And oh, yeah. I think I just heard something turn on. Oh? What's that? What happened? Junpei, look, the conveyor belt's moving. Conveyor belt? Oh great, now there's gonna be fucking coal packed all over the place. Well, I guess it's done moving now. There's still a bunch of coal in the belt though. It looks like a bunch of it got dumped off at the end of the belt into that wooden box where we found the control panel. Coal. Coal, huh? Okay. But what about the box we needed, though? Box filled with coal! Okay. A wooden box full of coal. That was me. A wooden box filled with coal. Guess there's really only way, uh, only one thing we can do with this stuff. What? Burn give it? it? You give it to kids when they don't do good things for Christmas? Well, you put it in the engine. It's weird oh. that the narration was your, was you though, right? Yeah. Cause like that's the line that's like that's that's the phrasing that's always the in in Junpei's head, like establishing narration. It's weird for Santa to be like, this is a box containing coal. I'm like, yes, yes, Santa, we're all here. <laughs> <laughs> we all we all see we all, we know what boxes are already. We saw they're everywhere in this room. We've, we've clicked on like seven of them. It's coal. It's shiny and black and coal like. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> that was weird. That's weird. What? This is what happens when I hit left. Yeah. And this is what happens when I hit right. <laughs> yeah. That's confusing. If I hit left, I rotate right. <laughs> but if I hit right, I rotate to a different room. It's because you're standing, like, right at the edge. Yeah, it's like they didn't know... Like they didn't know what to con what to map it to, basically. Like, I I'm kind of moving left, but I'm definitely rotating right, which is what makes it jarring. Like I thought I was pressing the wrong so button. So where's that box? Yeah, we're looking for it. Go back. Saint, let's go oh. over here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, go. Yeah, go there. That way. Let's go this way. Shit. Man, this thing is huge. I guess a ship this big needs something like that to power it. True, but I doubt a single boiler this size could actually move a ship like this in any, at any reasonable speed. You need at least three, no, four of these. Why do you know that, Ace? Is that already learned about your dark and mysterious past as a, as the captain of the Titanic? <laughs> God, the reincarnated captain of the Titanic. Huh? I guess you know a lot about boats, huh? Well, not really. It's just common sense, you know. No. 
No, it's not. That's not common sense at all. I mean, maybe it is for people who live in places where there are a lot of boats. To know how many boilers a boat needs on the inside? In a room that no one's allowed into? <laughs> like... I don't know. Uh, I have no idea what Ace's, that way. like, day job is. Stairs stretch from the catwalk to the boiler. Okay. I look down here. <laughs> in what direction was the box that way, in? That direction. Oh, uh, I think the box was the control panel. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, we didn't look in that direction yet, so we didn't know that it wasn't there before. But I think the reason there was conspicuously just a, a control panel just sitting around was because it was the box we lowered. That makes They're sense. They're like, it looks like there was a device in that box. And that, that's why everyone's like, wow, you did it, Junpei. You picked up that thing from five feet away and put it in the thing. It's because it was actually hanging from the ceiling. And we okay, it. that makes sense. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sitting here like, I don't see a box. <laughs> yeah, because we just hadn't looked at that direction yet, so we didn't even know the puzzle was there to be solved. So, so now we have coal, so we have to put it in the boiler. So here? So this is where you put coal into the furnace. That's right. I had a look at it earlier, but it's rusted shut, I'm afraid. Perhaps you should check the other side? I'm gonna check the other side. Oh, that's not gonna work. Alright, let's go over here. This is the bottom of the massive boiler. But on There's a hole that let us put coal into the furnace. Maybe if we can get some coal in there, and set it on fire. Okay, let's do it. Alright, that's the last of it. No coal left in the wooden box. And nothing. Great. Well, I guess I should have expected that. Why, why would just throwing coal into a cold furnace do anything? Ah, well. A man can dream. Junpei. Uh, Junpei. Explain it to me again. You're planning to stroke the furnace with coal. Stoke. Stoke. Which will, which will heat the water stored up there and make steam. Which uh, will then drive something else. We're re-explaining how engines work. Am I correct? In other words, you want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine. We, we already did another word. This was the in other words. Because <laughs> we already explained it before. Yeah. And drive the steam engine, right? Yeah, I guess that's the, uh, gist of it. Hmm. Well, in that case, this isn't enough coal. This furnace is enormous. So we're gonna need a whole hell of a lot more coal than this. Very well, then. If the three of us work together, we should manage to fill it much faster. Ah! Uh, oh, wait. I don't remember who, who did this voice. I think I was. Was I? Yeah, I think I was. I... I want to help, too. Probably. I think I did Clover. Yeah. Man, I totally didn't even see her walk up. Totally. Oh, I forgot she was here, because she hasn't talked in, like, 20 minutes. Are... Are you feeling up to that? <sighs> yes. Yeah, right. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over, June. I think you'd better rest some more, alright? But I... Why doesn't June just press the button? Like, Ace and Santa are gonna work together with, like, dumping the box in the hole over and over again. She can just stand by the console and press the button every time that they put the box under the conveyor. It's yeah. the easiest thing ever. That's that's the teamwork thing that makes sense, because they have one box, as far as I can tell. No arguing. You need your rest. So, you just stay there. We'll handle this. Okay. I understand. Alright, time for some manly work. Wait, let's get this coal into those furnaces. She could have just pressed the button though, like it's that's all she had to do. Man, this is a lot of work. Alright, I think this should be sufficient. Alright, now we just gotta light it. Junpei, hand me your matches. 
What makes you think I have matches? I see. Then how are we going to light it? Perhaps there's a device nearby that will allow us to remotely ignite the coal. Let's take a look, shall we? Some sort of ignition device, huh? Like the only other panel in the entire environment? Maybe. The only logical Do connection to make Do we need to put coal right in now. every single... Probably place? not. Okay. But we'll see. This is the one thing that counts as ignition device. No, that'd be the other one. The slider's locked in place. It won't move. Uh, yeah, that one. Is this? Because the lights are yellow now. Oh, yeah, they are. I think it might be. It probably is. I think this is how we might ignite the furnace. That means if we move this thing, that thing down. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Hey, Junpei, Ace, look at this. There's big gears turning under the boiler here. Huh? All three of them at once. Oh. Puzzle. They have puzzles. The gears. They're spinning. What the hell are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. Okay. Click. And click. And click. Gold disc of complicated geometric patterns. I thought or, we sent that into space with a record. Or maybe vectors and whatnot. Voxels and shit. <laughs> Bronze disc. I guess they're just gonna fit together or something, or maybe yeah. we'll see. Shit. Silver disc. They make a sun together. Isn't that crazy? Okay, but where? But where? Uh, obviously, we need to put them in the snowman conspiracy. <laughs> where the fuck is the door to get out of here? Yeah, I was just thinking that. I'm like, wait a minute, we never found the door. Maybe that's what I should look for now. Is that maybe that's where they go? Is it against the door, which is somewhere. Okay. We've been down here. It's probably upstairs, right? It's probably upstairs. There's nothing else up down here as far as I can tell. That door. Oh, crap. Secret door. <laughs> hey, Junpei, where are you going? The only thing in there is a closed number door. Well, that's where we came from. So it's on the other side, then. Kind of pointless to go back, huh? Yeah, it sure is. Uh, I don't know. It's a first-person visual novel. We fucking teleported. I don't know what door we came in in the game. Hey, Junpei, what are you doing? It's hotter than hell in there. Oh, right. We can't go through anymore because the, the inside right. of that is the furnace. Did you already forget that we lit the furnace? Ah, oh. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. So just turn, so off, turn off the furnace and go through. Oh, yeah. I don't need to move the slider. Okay. I guess we're done with these two, then. Well, they're all locked in place. Yeah. So I guess we're just stuck with that. So I guess we don't turn off the furnace. So, so we can't go through these doors. That door's not the right door. Can you go that way up there? This way? Yeah. There are several catwalks spidering across the walls of the room. I guess not. One of the doors of the furnace. There's a C on it. So we can't go in the furnace because it's on now. That door is how we got in here, apparently. We never found the exit door, which is awkward. So, back to exploring. Uh, is the door open? Uh, yes. I think it's not supposed to be open. It's not, but it just looks like that. Weird. Uh, What? Um, maybe you're supposed to put them in the thing. I'm gonna check the ends of the hallways. Like, are you supposed to put them inside of the gear? Wait, what about that sealed, the sealed door? I'm just gonna go to the gold one and try to fit them all together in the same one. Because wasn't there that sealed door right there? This one? Yeah, there's there's one at the end of each one, though. They're, they're welded oh. shut, so they're never gonna be fixed. Let's try putting them all in. Junpei, the gold disc we found. Do you remember where it was when we found it? Um, I think it was on the bottom left. Why? Oh, I was just thinking. Yeah, so click it again. I'm pretty sure the gold disc was on the bottom left when we found it. 
Okay. No, we need this for a final solution, but we don't know where to put it yet. Yeah. Where the fuck is the ending? Trying to go through the conveyors? A tunnel. It goes all the way across the ship. And go on it? Um... What direction have I not looked in yet? So uh, I clicking on all the wheels? Ding! Yeah, see, where the fuck is the exit here? Um... Uh... There's a boiler in the middle, there's a conveyor. Go upstairs? I don't see a door anywhere Do the map here. again? I don't see no door. Alright, so not here. Did okay. It, did it even change? Oh yeah, it had the wa the cat walks to it. Uh, doors are like not even visible on this thing, huh? So all I see is the pipe. That's like the only thing. Um, is there some way to like defeat <laughs> these boxes that block my path everywhere? Like, try. There's a bunch of stuff in our way. Uh, I tried. That's the door we came from. Where the fuck? I mean, uh, th this has never been a problem before, right? No, it's normally never, never like this. Go to the silver. Go to go to the bronze and the silver gears and see what and click on them and let them save yeah. their shit. The indentation uh, where I found the bronze disc in the, in the bottom right. Oh okay. uh, yeah, you can you can actually see the rims. Yeah, the rims show you what it says color. Silver, gold, bronze. So it should, no, it should be gold, bronze. There's nothing silver. here anymore. I mean, like, there's silver and there's bronze oh, and there's yeah. gold. Okay. Hey, Junpei, you remember that silver disc? Do you remember where it was when we found it? Uh, I think it was on the top? Why? Oh, nothing. Just thinking. Please tell us what you're thinking about. <laughs> Please tell us what you're thinking. Go to the menu item and combine them. Oh, shit, you're right. Forgot about that. Except you can't combine three items. What about silver and bronze? Okay. And that's all the combinations. They clearly make a sun. Yeah. Somehow. Uh, but I- you, ha you I'm thinking you have to put them in there. Pretty sure we found the silver disc in the top slot, then weird indentation. Okay. I'm just switching all the items real quick to see if any of them work. Is there anywhere else we could put these? I'm just gonna try all three of them, and on all three of them. I am just not seeing the door. Yeah, like, we've solved every puzzle we've been able to find so far, and there's just no indication of where to go next. Which is confusing. Bottom left, but why? Can I click on the bottom left specifically? No. Um. Wait. Go back. Back to where? Here. Back one screen. Okay, never mind. Uh, go turn around. Yeah, go to that. Think side. we need to throw them in the furnace? <laughs> no. Hot! <laughs> what kind of idiot are you? It's a hellish inferno in there. Of course it's going to be hot. I thought we might just tr throw the discs into the top left, top right, and the bottom ones. And somehow something would happen. I was like, where else? At some point. The engine's running now, there's nothing else we need to do. Except for leave. Yeah. How do I leave? I've never had to look for the door before. Where is it? Oh. Wait. What? The, we've never been up those stairs. These stairs? <laughs> oh. I just realized the stairs are flush against the wall, but... I thought, they, went, be... I thought they both went to the same place, that's why. No, yeah, I, I realized that to be flush against the wall, they have to be opposing stairs. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like this thing unlocks the door. 
That's the door. There's a depression here that looks like the outline of three circles lay on top of each other in a triangle. So maybe. It's... Maybe if we put those three discs we found onto this thing. Uh, well, there's only one way to find out. Let's stick it to them. Oh. They did it oh, for we us. we didn't have to figure it out. This fucking fly won't leave me alone. <laughs> huh? That's odd. Nothing's happening. Oh, okay, now we have to figure it out. Oh. Did, he did it stupid. Maybe you're... I don't know, putting them in the wrong places? Maybe, like, the really obvious grid that tells you, like, which one to put where is what you should look at? You yeah, should... probably. I, I don't want to rub it in, but we're all going to die because you're stupid. <laughs> Perhaps you have them facing the wrong directions. Perhaps you should rotate the discs to make some of the lines connect to one another. Like the giant red sun in the middle? I mean, the orientation really doesn't matter at the end of the day because it's making yeah. uh, it's making this like this a sun that's equal on all sides. Hmm. Well. Oh, that's you. Yeah. Well, no harm in trying. Well, it's just they have to match the three slots because there's clearly like there's clearly three slots there. Really? Instructions? Okay. When it's pressed, it will rotate a certain amount. When the white arrow is pressed, the discs are switched. Please note when the discs are switched, the angles for the discs are reset. That's fine. So, switch right, the gold so... and the bronze. Switch the gold and the bronze. Or that works too. There you right. go. There we go. That blew my mind. What a fucking crazy Oh my puzzle. god, the Illuminati is real. The red lines on these discs. I think maybe I can make a star polygon with these. So not there's a, not the a nonary gone. I didn't even see that as being the door. I was like, oh, look at the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the wall opened. I thought that was the track for like a big yes! vertical sliding thing. The door's thing. open. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get Jun now? Santa and I will keep an eye on this door. Jun's dead. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? Yes. That's Santa's entire personality. Alright. I'll go get June. I'll be right back. We'll keep an eye on this door in case it, this giant heavy metal thing closes. We'll, um... We will have seen it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> like, I'll hold it with my amazing titan hands. I mean, Ace does seem pretty big. Jumpy! Are you the coal's okay? gone. I put it all in the thing for you. Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. That was fast. Are you sure you're alright? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Wait, I think you misspelt <laughs> that. Yeah, it's like, do you mean warrior or warrior? I, I think I think they meant warrior, like someone who worries a lot, but they spelt it warrior, as in like, Maybe, Junpei's yeah. actually going around like killing people on I a mean, daily they, basis. They could both fit for very different reasons. Uh, I think she would, based on how she said Part it, of what makes me think she has like some sort of weird supernatural thing going on, besides the fact that the game keeps introducing supernatural stuff, and she's usually the one that won't stop talking about it, is the fact that her fever comes and goes in like 10 minutes. Which, I, like I'm saying, it's not a sick fever. Like, she doesn't have the flu. She's just stressed. It's just yeah, overwork. Could be. So she's just, like, overstressed, and then she just, like... It's not really a... Except, the except we're setting up psychic powers. With Clover. Well, she could be unlocking them, sure. Yeah. So, like, like it could be, like, that's her, like... She's it, picking up it's her, wavelengths yeah. or something. I can hear everyone's lewd thoughts. <laughs> or maybe she's, like, somehow, like experiencing the submarine ending like woo spooky dreams and it's freaking her out like if she's the catalyst for all the multi-dimensions i don't know what kind Strain? of fucking like, yeah, the game, the game's setting up a lot of weird potential mechanics for the story oops i mean <laughs> warrior <laughs> oh <laughs> well there we go andrew now we know I all right this game. let's go <laughs> like... go where Oh, right. I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! By the way, don't leave comments saying that we need to stop over-explaining things and then we won't have to run this problem because it's like 90% oh, of the it's... fun of this fucking game. Santa? What are you looking at? Ace. This, yeah, what is this picture for? Huh. 
It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. Uh, what? She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa, what? What June. What the fuck, June? What the June. fuck is wrong with you? June. June and June pair are perfect with each other. They're, they're really bad at this whole, like, potential dead sibling thing. They're, they're really bad at literally communicating to other humans. Holy shit, man. <laughs> like... Because, like, June... Fucking like, context. Junpei was like, wow, look, this guy's super fucked up, like, your brother when he died horribly, isn't that crazy, Clover? Look how fucked up this guy that died like your brother is. <laughs> and then fucking Sa with Santa, June's like, she's like, yeah, my sister, she was cute as a button. It's like, ha, so she was like a, an inch tall? It's like, she's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that, that's the first thing to assume when people say when people phrase it like that and they're looking all free, they're looking all weird about the photo is to think that the sister's probably dead so to be making jokes about it is like super inappropriate until you know until you know better whoa his, also his hands are huge too uh, they don't look nearly as bad though cuz they're not compared to somebody else's body yeah but the distance from his wrist to his fingertip is almost as long as his entire forearm <laughs> i can't tell because of his fucking armbands yeah but his, but you, you can judge where his wrist is because of where his arm changes direction. Yeah, and, I guess so. It's his, true. his hand looks gargantuan, but only one of them. His one holding the note looks normal. That's what I was saying. Like I'm looking at that one as my default. Then I yeah. look at the other one with the like the actual yeah. watch on it. Looks kind of the yeah, hanging weird. one. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Why? Why? Do who? Who the fuck is writing this? And who thinks <laughs> this is funny? This like miscommunication yeah, about like I don't, I don't June know. doesn't get it. Her his sister's dead. Isn't it funny? She just keeps talking about the size of a button. I don't no, know. No, it's not. Did what the fuck is wrong with you? Why don't you I, just like I learn? I can't tell if like these miscommunication jokes were funnier in Japanese or if they're just like always weird. I they don't probably know. are because it's again it's probably a fucking pun. He's probably sa he probably said a phrase and then she took that phrase and was like oh da 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 and he's like. No, you fucking rude ass bitch. I wasn't making a pun. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm being melancholy. Yeah. Melancholy, goddammit. But, like, it, it doesn't work in English in that sense. Cause then that's the problem. You get stupid shit like this where it's like, oh, you mean she's like the size of a button? Like, which is where, what? A which is where a good localization team would just replace it with a different joke entirely or Let's skip just, it. <laughs> skip it. The, but they try to translate the jokes that are like puns or just put a translator's note. <laughs> just awkward translator yeah note. i would rather take an awkward translator note than like oh your sister's literally the size of a button yeah I, we yeah at least, june we at least wouldn't be baffled in that situation like, I, yeah because santa's so upset that his sister be, is like never grew bigger than the size of a button yeah it's this, like what the fuck is, is yeah this is stumbling his big brother <laughs> like he's like looking at his pants he's like yeah this is her right here that's how big she is and it's like i keep her with me at all times hmm <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy sound. I like how June or like Junpei is like, uh, yeah, we should stop her. <laughs> like, Jun Junpei is just slowly realizing that June's just completely nuts over the course of this game. Sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was Santa a human. Claus. What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Fitting. Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? Have you, Andrew? The two Santa Clauses? I've heard... I, I guess we'll find out. I've heard of, like... It goes the... that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually the black Santa's tricks started to get worse you, and worse. You're mistaking... You're, like, creating your own false reality with... Like, you're, mis you're mistaking it's, uh, you're thinking of Santa Claus and the, uh, and the, whatever it's called. Um, the old Nordic? Not, not Krampus? Nordic. Krampus, yeah. Yeah. You're mixing up Krampus and Santa and saying that people call them both Santa. I mean, no. have you seen how Final Fantasy teats... Teats? <laughs> Final it, does it teach a lot of things? Have you seen how Final Fantasy treats everyone's religions? <laughs> Well, Final Fantasy, in, in its part, is fine about treating religion that way because it's... Like, 90% of that game is words that aren't real anyways, but, uh, but, like, two Santas isn't a thing anyone would know about. You'd have to be more descriptive, like, 
You know about Santa might, and Krampus? I'm saying like it might just be a confusing like Japanese interpretation of Western concepts. Also, they, they love binary splits between light and dark, so that might be part That's of it, too. That's just Asian cultures. Yeah. They just like the yin, yin yeah. thing. Yin yang Santa Claus. Which existed. It was called Santa and Krampus. It was like... There wasn't like a. I don't think Santa and Krampus were ever a binary split. They're just literally different. They're just different evol entities. evolutions of a story. Yeah, they just both did different things. So Santa would come around and give presents if you were nice, and Krampus would come around and be a bitch to you if you were a bitch. Yeah, but they were never part of the same story. No, they were well, just like, two different they things. They didn't come around the same like, time. This is a fucked up story for children. Let's make up Santa Claus now instead. <laughs> I mean, is it It's like every... Klaus and Krampus and stuff, except, like, it's a happy thing that the Coca-Cola company can sell. <laughs> well, yeah, but you have to do that because all the stories that we have are from people from, like, medieval times who had nothing but misery to talk about. Yeah. So, like, all Everyone's their stories, stories are about shitty. dying people because everyone around them is dying all because the time. Because that's all that happens in medieval times. Just dead people everywhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can't get rid of them because you only have one fucking grave digger. They haven't invented sewers yet. Some of them have. I Some mean, of them. Be a little generous here. Rich people here. get sewers. No, I mean like which bigger. Would just drain outward into a hole out of the side of the castle that just dumps on the floor. No, like big kingdoms had sewer systems. Eventually. They just they had to wait for the rain so it can move all the shit that was on the streets. I mean, the Black Plague was a pretty good incentive to figure it out. <laughs> no, the Black Plague was a good incentive to not fucking get rid of all your cats. Stop getting rid of your, your cats. cats. That was what it was. It was like they specifically, <laughs> they specifically were like. I, I just have to stop us. We're this will go so far off. Either course. way, Santa's stupid fucking story makes no <laughs> sense. Pretty soon, the white Santa couldn't stand it anymore, and he stabbed the black Santa to death. This is a fucking uh, literal hate crime. I was about to say hate crime. <laughs> this is literally a hate crime. You're describing Santa. When he stabbed the other Santa. The white Santa got blood all over his clothes. Holy oh. shit! Oh, okay, so you're talking about- This fucking about... remix of Red Santa no. being from Murderous Santa. Okay, this Holy makes sense. Holy shit! The, the bloody Santa is a story that exists. Uh, yes, okay, so you're talking about the- So are you talking about like the <laughs> bloody Santa? This fucking Deadpool Santa. <laughs> and that's why, these days, his clothes are red. Because he doesn't have a laundromat? <laughs> <laughs> Blood doesn't really wash out, my friend. And, like, Mrs. Claus can't just make a new one? <laughs> make a new one? A new shirt. He doesn't have a Mrs. Claus. That was, was added- that was the American version. The Santa story was, sucks. Santa was never married. That was added later in the American version, so that way it made sense for, like, the nuclear family. <laughs> it was like, why is Santa single? <laughs> is he gay? He no, said, Santa's got a wife. He's not gay. She said nuclear. <laughs> yeah, nuclear. <laughs> You could say that red is all that's left of the black Santa. Jeez. I wonder which Santa I am. Uh, both. Uh, you have white and black on. You literally are just both Santas. Like is that why he's wearing white and black? Yeah. Because he's both Santas. And he's kidnapping people and threatening to kill them, and that'll make him red Santa? Yeah, he wants to. Oh be my he god. He wants to become Santa. I mean, we're getting character development finally, but it's confusing. <laughs> It's the, worst, it's the worst- it's the worst possible way to do it, yes. Huh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's go. It's like, aww, that's sweet. He thinks he's either a trickster or a beacon of light that will righteously murder someone. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> either way, he's still giving to kids. <laughs> Neither of those are good for the situation. They bo they both have super foreboding uh, answers. No, the white Santa still gives presents to kids even coated in blood. After killing someone. He still gives presents. It's, a, it's an ending that makes Santa thinks he's justified in killing someone. He killed another Santa. It's like a it's like Swapper. There's no harm in killing a clone. What? It's, they're both Santas. They're the same people. It's not. One's just an asshole and one's not. And so I'm he pretty just sure the white and black Santas are supposed to be different people. I think they're still the same person. They're no, just no, opposite sides. No, I don't think so. No, I'm serious. I think it's supposed to be that thing of like you have your, you know, like you have your good he side and your bad side. murdered the darkness in him. Yeah, he murdered the darkness. And got stained red by the blood of himself. Yeah, because he killed himself to do it. What the hell is that story? Okay. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving, come on! We're doing ellipses. Get with yeah. it, Santa. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Fucking sass bass over here, <laughs> shit! <laughs> also, weren't we at the staircase that fucking Santa was sitting at? Yeah. 
You saw us. Let's go. Well, it's a recurring thing in this game to act like we're in massively different locations when we're really like slightly different parts of the same room, and people act like they can't hear the whole conversation happening. <laughs> it's like fucking old man Ace at the top of the stairs. Hey, what did you say, Santa? I can't hear you. <laughs> Even though we were like fairly convinced he was just listening through the doors before. Huh. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. So, a warehouse. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going! Wait. I can't freight! Wait, this is literally an escape room? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thought this might just be a hallway no. or something. No, we're in part two now. <laughs> uh oh. But, uh, um. Okay. How about not? What, just sit down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, I'm done now. Cargo room, look at that weird pattern over there. This, whoa. That's a very odd particular way to set up a thing look with a coffin Ze in it. Look at this Zelda sliding block puzzle thing over here. Why is there a coffin? Oh, there it is. There's just, just the coffin hanging yeah, out there. Yeah, this, why is the coffin here? In That's storage, just like it was in the Titanic. Curious how the coffin's in two places somehow? Because it's probably a, a coffin that has the exact same combination on it that the other coffin does. And we have more than one coffin somehow? Well, I don't know, Zero makes I'm, more I than one I just find fucking... it conspicuous, there's like a fucking- There's a full-on Zelda sliding black puzzle in this room with like a perfect diagonal grid and even a conspicuous thing in the top. Are you talking about the- what- the boxes that are numbered? Just all of the boxes on the right side of the screen. It's a, oh, it's a Zelda the, puzzle. Yeah, you, the, the top down, I, like you walked in a dungeon. Because on the left thing, on the left side, right below you are numbered boxes. Oh yeah, there are. Which I'm assuming is also important. Every number except well, actually nine is probably under that beam. So yeah, so yeah, numbers one through nine. Yeah, on boxes, and then uh oh, the weights, the snowman weights that look like oogie boogie. Yeah, the sandbags. Yeah, a bunch of sandbags. The uh, sandbags, there's numbered boxes, there's a coffin, there's a weird sliding block puzzle grid. There's a control panel up the stairs. And a staircase, yeah. There's a lot going on in here. I don't know what that is, that orange box. Maybe we'll, maybe there's gonna be like a crane game, like we can go up on the control panel and move around the boxes. Maybe. Who knows? Could be. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs>